Hey friends, welcome to today's video. As we continue through our 31 day film challenge, we're getting kind of sad now because we're almost done with the series. We just got, a f just got this week left and then we will be through and back to normal. Today we're talking about our favorite male and female movie performances. This one was a tough one for me, but I think I have come to my decisions. So let's get this intro out of the way and let's jump in. Welcome once again, my name is Austin and this channel is all about digging deeper and going further to better understand faith and film and everything that's in between. If that's exciting to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any videos as we finish off this series and continue forward. First, let's start with the gents. I want to give Ian McKellen some love because his performance as Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies is excellent. It's one of my favorite characters and I can't help but just say He's one of the best performances. Like, he's so iconic in that role. I don't think I could have seen anyone else in that performance. Also, Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight was absolutely incredible. I love that he disappears into the role. All you see is Joker when he's on screen. I didn't know any Heath Ledger movies when I saw The Dark Knight, so that was that was my base point of what I've known him from, and since then I've gone to see some of his romantic comedies, A Knight's Tale, like stuff like that, and was like, wow, I can't believe this guy made this transition into this role. It's an, incredible and mesmerizing performance. Next, one of my favorite trilogies, and that is the Planet of the Apes trilogy, the recent one with Andy Serkis as Caesar. I think his performance, especially in the final film, is absolutely magnificent. I love what he did with the character, the fact that he is performing as an ape, and we relate to him on such a deep and emotional level gets me every single time. Lastly, actually this is someone I should have included on my villain list. Uh, that's the character of Fletcher played by J.K. Simmons in the movie Whiplash. That is hands down one of the greatest movie performances I have ever seen. He's absolutely terrifying and <laughs> I, he's brilliant in the role. I have a hard time putting words to things I love a lot, but if you've not seen Whiplash and you're a fan of J.K. Simmons, you're missing out on a version of J.K. Simmons which you have never seen before. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Next, moving on to the ladies, let's give Emma Watson some love because her performance as Hermione in the Harry Potter movies is one of the things I love most about all of these films. I think she was perfectly cast in the role as Hermione Granger and through these films as we watch her grow up and develop into her own character, just like each and every one of the ones. She's the one that I've just latched onto the most, I think, and love to see the arc that they took her through, through each and every one of these films. I love Hermione. She's probably, she might be my favorite character in the Harry Potter movies. Ripley is someone who I've talked about recently as one of my favorite hero characters, but I have to say that Sigourney Weaver, and in the role of Ripley, is definitely one of the best performances we have ever seen. I love her character so much. She's so down-to-earth and relatable, but so strong and capable at the same time. This one is a very recent pick, but Saor C. Ronan, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, is definitely an actress I want to keep my eye on because her performance Really, the performance of all four sisters in the recent Little Women movie are great, but I'm just going to single her out because she's the main character. I loved that performance so much. She's, she's so heartwarming in the role, yet so strong and determined that you just can't help but love each and everything she's doing as she's fighting to find her way and find her place in the world. Lastly, let's pick a superhero. Gal Gadot was the perfect casting for Wonder Woman. I don't think anyone else could have been a better choice. I did not know who Gal Gadot was before that. I learned sometime after by watching the Fast and Furious movies that she's in some of the later films, but I love the casting choice of her. I think she's so strong and powerful. She presents both the beauty side of the character of Wonder Woman with the strength and power as well, and just really does a great job finding that balance for the character. If I had to pick favorites for all of these, it would be really close between Gandalf and Caesar, but I think 
I'm going to pick Caesar as better than Gandalf. I feel horrible saying that. And then for the females, it's got to be Sigourney Weaver as Ripley in the Alien movies because both of these franchises, both Planet of the Apes 1 and the Aliens, are some of my favorite franchises and series of films of all time. So they've got to be definitely the best in my opinion. Comment down below with your pick for your favorite male and female movie performances. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. Tomorrow we are talking about our favorite movie from our favorite director. So we got our favorite director out of the way. Let's pick our favorite movie from that director. Come back tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when that video goes live. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.